Before money bag, yo, drop tracks like Big Facts, Mandatory Drug Test, Doing Too Much, Yesterday, and All of a Sudden. Now I'm up all of a sudden, hey, now I'm up all of a sudden, hey. Before he would work with the likes of Lil Baby, Lil Durk, NBA Youngboy, Blockboy JB, and Quavo. Before signing to Yo Gotti's management imprint, CMG, and getting signed to Interscope. What can those guys do for you that you're not already doing for yourself, though? Is it a bigger bag? Is it the bag? And I ain't really just about the money, but the money, the bag there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before he would drop 25K on a super icy permanent grill. But damn, your teeth, though. What in the devil? Hi. Wow, that's the best grill I've ever seen. Yeah. I'll be damned. A true rags to riches story, these are the ones I love to cover the most here and before they're famous. And Moneybag Yo, well he truly came from humble beginnings. Raised by a single mother, the dude started hustling in the streets to make ends meet. He made a name for himself in that life, literally. He also tried some more legal work, including a job at Church's Chicken. And that, well it didn't go so well. Now all the while, Moneybag, he worked on his raps, never believing he could truly make it. And somehow he did, but along the way, he lived through all kinds of heartbreak, including the loss of some of his closest friends. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Moneybag Yo, prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. Now, you all know what we do here. We've covered a ton of rappers. We also have a rapper's playlist, so you should check that out. On deck for future videos include Murda Beats and Young Bands. Be sure to let me know who you want me to document next. And uh, a huge thanks goes to Candy Pens, because they helped us out by sponsoring this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! How many times have you been shot? No, one time. I know how to move. Moneybag Yo was born to Mario Dwayne White Jr. on September 22nd, 1991, and came up in South Memphis, Tennessee. He's the oldest of three children raised by a single mother who struggled to feed him and his sisters. He told Double XL that he grew up listening to artists like Yo Gotti, Future, and Drake. But when it comes to musical influences, well, he said he's been told he sounds a lot like Kevin Gates. Speaking of which, I actually have a picture of Kevin Gates hanging in my office. Cause Gates and love stay writing about a bitch. Sorry, <clears throat> that's, a, that's an office joke. Now DeMario, he first started rapping with his friends in the school cafeteria and his friends, well, the ones he was kicking with back then, well, he's kept them all around. But as for class, well, that never seemed to be a big priority for bags. Asked what kind of student he was by DJ Small Eyes, he had this to say. I ain't gonna lie, I was terrible. <laughs> Throughout high school, Moneybag's attention would shift elsewhere until finally he dropped out in the 12th grade. Now seeing his family struggle financially, DeMario started hustling in the streets and made a name for himself in that life. Actually, he literally got his name doing that. So tell me about the name Moneybag Yo. Who named you that? I mean, there's somebody in my, just to just be around me, one of my homeboys. And high a hood school. captain. Yeah, yeah. He also tried to make some legit money working at Church's Chicken, but apparently that didn't work out so well. I've been Church's in the last two days. Another big reason that Moneybag would drop out of high school would be his love of women. Yeah, his ladies would become a serious distraction for him during school, and those distractions would lead to new expenses. I got bumps on my ass from a dirty toilet seat. Staph infection. <laughs> Yeah. I got seven kids, bro. Like, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Hold on. But yet another thing taking up more and more of his time, of course, would be his budding interest in rap. He would freestyle often with his best friend Elo, who encouraged him to take his music seriously. Eventually, he decided to go to the studio and record his first track ever, which he called Bond Money. Still at the time, he did not believe that he would be able to make it as an MC. He stated in 2017, I didn't really think I was gonna be a rapper or who am I today? I didn't really take it serious until like last year. Of course, by that time, Moneybag had already been on his grind for quite some time. In fact, by the end of 2016, he had dropped a total of 10 mixtapes. His first two were released in 2012. There was From the Block to the Booth dropped on April 16th, and then there was October 20th released on, yeah, you guessed it, October 6th. But prior to the release of either of these mixtapes, he was already dropping tracks online. Here's a music video he released on YouTube way back in February of 2011 when he was 19 years old. And this one's called F You Pay Me. Great title. You owe me some pay me. Then in May of 2012, he would drop this one called Fast Money. One kitchen, two stoves, working with like eight pots. In February of 2014, he released a mixtape called La Familia with his buddy Sleepy. 
who sadly since has passed away. Now, Relentless and Federal they would follow in 2015, but that year would mark another tragedy. His friend Elo, who had encouraged him to rap in the first place, well, he was gunned down. Moneybag paid his respects to Elo in a number of ways. He got an Elo chain, which he rocks on occasion. He also honored him by making a whole project called Elo. Everybody lives on. That mixtape as well as Federal Reloaded were both released in early 2016. Now that March, Moneybag and 27 others would get arrested during a CD release party at Club Maserati in Mason, Tennessee. Now a pretty serious setback for our guy, it was almost worth it for the strange local news report produced by News Channel 3. I'll give you a little piece of that, here's how the reporter decided to sign off. Sheriff here hopes this is a wake up call to gang members that if they continue to bring drugs and guns into Tipton County, they will be locked up. Moneybag would be charged with unlawful possession of a firearm and possession of a Schedule 4 drug with intent to sell. This is why I applaud our police officers for being on top of it. Still, Moneybag kept on his grind, releasing a grand total of five mixtapes that year. All Gas, No Breaks would be up next, and this was apparently the project that caught the attention of the King of Memphis, Yo Gotti. Actually, Gotti had been following Moneybag's career for quite some time, but after hearing All Gas, he decided to finally sign him to his management imprint, CMG. In the meantime, Moneybag released For the Hard Way, and then for his final drop in 2016, and now him signed with CMG, well, he teamed up with Yo Gotti for Two Federal. Now this would be his first project to chart, hitting 97 on the Billboard 200 and 48 on the R&B and Hip Hop Albums chart. Next would be Heartless, which also charted, but his biggest hit was yet to come. Moneybag signed to Interscope in 2017, and their distribution power seemed to help bring Federal 3X to the next level, as did a feature with Youngboy Never Broke Again. Now that mixtape got all the way up to number 5 on the Billboard 200 and number 4 on the R&B and Hip Hop chart. But just days after the release of his biggest mixtape to date, it looked like Moneybag would be finding himself in legal hot water once again. Now we'll get into that in just a minute, but it looks like it's getting a little smoky in here. You've all heard of candy pens, right? Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a good feeling you've seen them before. Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Pens, well, they've quickly become the go-to choice for vaping in the hip-hop and rap community. They've got co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young M.A., Amber Rose, and ASAP Rocky. In fact, ASAP, he's got his own line known as the Flacco Jody Collection. And Amber Rose, well, there are billboards of her all over Los Angeles promoting her own signature line. Now, Candy Pens are for those 18 years or older, and I'm their, you know, official YouTube ambassador. That's why they gave me the ability to give you 25% off your entire order. Now, there is a link down below. Use the promo code BTWF25. All right, now let's get back to Moneybag Yo. Yeah, I'm done with this. Now, a number of outlets reported that he was allegedly involved in a shooting that took place at the rest stop of the New Jersey Turnpike on August 19, 2017. The more uh, gang members that they can get off the street, the better. Witnesses of the incident said that the two had been shot, one in the head. Now, at the same time, Moneybag was in town to perform in Newark, and it was later reported that Moneybag and a few others, they were being questioned by the police. They then escorted him to a police car. Now, here's the thing. Those same witnesses, they claimed that Moneybag was not handcuffed, and he may have been a person of interest or a suspect in the shooting. But it looks like he was never actually charged with anything. And at the time of this recording, well, it's been almost a year since the incident, so I feel like he's probably in the clear. After the success of Federal 3X, Moneybag, and Youngboy Never Broke Again, well, they would team up on a collab mixtape called Fed's Baby. And this one again would see some pretty good traction, hitting number 21 on the Billboard 200. But just hours after the tape dropped, Vibe reports that NBA took to Instagram to dismiss the project in a now deleted video. Fortunately, YouTube makes it pretty hard to really delete anything, so here's a re upload of that. Man, fuck that tape. And I won't smoke, bitch. I ain't playing. Moneybag would respond via Twitter, shake my head, who makes a video crying about a tape? Suck ass shit. He continued, men don't cry, only bitches and hoes cry. Speaks loud volume to be bitching about a tape. Still, it wouldn't be long before the beef would be squashed. Young boy, young boy ain't beefing with nobody. Don't let none of this internet shit fool you. Nigga ain't never told me, nigga ain't never played with me, never spoke out they top in the wrong way, none of that shit. And more good news would come for Moneybag in 2018. For his new mixtape, Too Heartless, he would scoop guest appearances from the likes of Yo Gotti, Lil Baby, Blockboy JB, and Quavo. And production from Zaytoven and Southside. They would hit Billboard 200 and R&B and hip hop chart, peaking at number 16 and nine, respectively. 
It also got some pretty strong reviews with Pitchfork calling it a revelation hidden in plain sight. He's so brazenly secure in his sound, so convinced of his impending success that you're left feeling like you have to win him over and not the other way around. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael Crad. Thanks for checking out this video. There are two more suggested videos for you right here. One of them is a playlist because in there is all the rapper bios that you could uh, ever hope for. Probably like 400. So be sure to browse around, hit subscribe. Let me know who's next. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Stay right about a bitch. Another big reason that money bag would draw. <laughs> <laughs> You want to spill it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this, okay. this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the ladies? <laughs> His ladies is so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> My god, I love you so much. You're the best sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect line for it, too. <clears throat> That's going to be something you're like, this guy fucking into gates? <laughs> 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 That's so funny. I couldn't let me go down. It's so hard. <laughs> 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 it's so hard. <laughs> It's so solid. <laughs> 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 <laughs>